Hamilton has shops and stores to fill every need. Large, modern department stores feature every type of merchandise and do a volume of business that reflects the large tourist trade and the prosperity of the city. How would I describe Hamilton? <laughs> on one hand, it's a great city to call home. On another hand, oh boy, do we have some problems. Mobilization is not something we, we can speak about any longer as a want or not want. We're in it. The lead story in CHCH would be something about steel and then you'd, you'd, the paper, you know, recently, and it's it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing, it just happened, is that, you know, the bottom fell out of steel. We've lost a lot of jobs. Hamilton's got rough edges to it and it's got a lot of people who are down and out and if you get out at all and walk around you're going to see that immediately. Why are there, I mean, so many million dollar homes on one side of the city and then also so many people living in shelters or living homeless on other sides of the city? Hamilton has amongst some of the poorest postal codes in Canada. They did a zombie movement on Barton Street and all they did had to do is put some corrugated sheets up on, on some of the buildings and then they had a, a disaster movie. Seeing you from Hamilton, that usually means Delco, DeFasco, but there's a lot more to it. The great part of living in Hamilton actually is that it has a flourishing art scene. A lot of artists that have moved here. Toronto's too expensive. I feel like Hamilton definitely embodies that spirit. It's like it's, it's not perfect, and it's, but it's getting there. It's like this new dawning where people are like, I can do this. That sort of spirit, it's infectious. It's exactly the kind of chemical mix that I love in a city.